physicists discovered the atom's nucleus without actually seeing it under a microscope. It was in 1911, Ernest Rutherford conducted the alpha scattering experiments, where he fired a narrow beam of alpha particles at a thin strip of gold foil. Let's use his experiments to find an expression for the nuclear radius. Let's zoom in to look at just a single gold atom in the foil. Most of the alpha particles pass straight through the foil with minimal or no deflection. That tells us that the atom is mostly empty space. But Rutherford also saw that 1 in 10,000 alpha particles were deflected at a large angle more than 90 degrees. We call this backscattering, which occurs if the alpha particles travel directly towards the nucleus. How did Rutherford then utilize his observations from the scattering experiments to calculate the size of the nucleus? Let's think about the atom's cross-sectional area. You'll remember that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, or pi times the diameter over 2, all squared. I'm going to label the diameter of the atom capital D, and the diameter of the nucleus lowercase d. Now we can write an expression for the probability of backscattering. That will be a ratio between the cross-sectional area of the nucleus and the cross-sectional area of the whole atom. This becomes pi d over 2 squared and pi capital D over 2 squared. Let's cancel out the constants. We are left with lowercase d squared over capital D squared. But if the gold foil is n number of atoms thick, we need to multiply this fraction by n. We will make the assumption that a typical value for the number of atoms to be 10,000. Let's also use Rutherford's results for the probability of backscattering, which was 1 in 10,000. We will substitute, simplify, then rearrange. This expression now gives us the size or the diameter of a nucleus relative to an atom.